Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. Okay, we've got two wins last time to bring us up to more of like standard two and one territory. I have to admit, last video it felt like I was doing a good job. It wasn't just my deck being good because my deck's not that good. And I wasn't getting like crazy top decks that I could tell. It was just I feel like I used my resources in an effective manner. Let's see if that continues. I did have some okay RNG, but it wasn't like big scale. It was pretty small scale RNG. I don't think it made as much difference. To Druid of the Swarm is a pretty good starting hand card, I guess. Uh, the rest of you are not. You could argue bite with the coin, but eh. Okay, I've got the Elder Long Neck and something to give it adapt combo. This is slow. This guy's great. I don't mind having him in the starting hand as much. At five mana, he's not that crazy slow. And in my turn. Oh, am I? I could play this, and then I could power the wild. Like, 1-5 taunt. Do I really... I don't want to let... If I'm going to make a 1-5 taunt, I don't want to coin it out. I don't want my opponent to know I'm going to make a 1-5 taunt. Coining out the 3-2 might have been worthwhile. You're just shooting me. Okay. So this can be a 1-2 poisonous, and that's super valuable sometimes. So I'm just going to go ahead with, like, minion. I save my coin for later when I need some of my many expensive cards. Okay, so that guy would kick the ass of my thing pretty easily. If I Death Speaker and then hit it for three, and it does two damage to itself, it would still be alive to kill my stuff. So it doesn't tell me much. If I play this guy now, he's kind of at risk. So I think I'm going to make a 1-5 taunt. Probably a stupid move. But he does forestall the orc pretty hard. Water elemental. Ugh. So that orc, I'd have to do two more damage for that orc to kill itself. Which I could Death Speaker my guy. I could play this, I'd still be able to coin something out. But it's really dependent on whether he gets something to make him not suck. I could also coin this guy out, who is a pretty serious dude. And him giving one of these guys the buff would be nice. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play him. Now it means I can't I don't get an adapt on him, which is a drawback. If I hit this guy for three, he will die. And then this guy will be a four two, which is not the worst. Well, let's do that. Let's work aside. Yeah, four two isn't actually doing great against the water elemental. This is a fact. Oh, crap balls. That's no good. I was hoping I could death speaker my guy and finish it off, but now I just get a replacement one, which is equally terrible. I don't have any taunts. Nope, this uh, this actually sucks now. I'm just going to say this sucks. I may have to use the Death Speaker to like, kill something anyway, because it's just going to get worse otherwise. I mean, he could have killed the Water Elemental without getting frozen which with the Immune, which I was hoping to do, but if it's coming back as a full Water Elemental, I don't like that. Whereas at, at three two the water elemental would have died to this guy even if the buff had gone the wrong place. Okay, now this would kill the water elemental, although it would make my guys much more vulnerable. Hmm. Not sure how much that helps me. Gotta say, I'm not too concerned about getting hit for three, though. Um. Uh, I just be my opponent's face in? I don't want to hit the 4-4 four four with this guy and then just get it shot. That kind of sucks. 
Maybe I should kill that water elemental, which means I really should have done it last turn. My guy wasn't going to get frozen, but you, even if this guy's frozen, you still want to kill him, obviously. I like the idea, idea of being able to kill it with this thing. It's just not going to work out well, because then all my, my guys are going to be super vulnerable anyway. Can't attack anyway. So in my turn. That is the wrong target. Although I'm not complaining in this case because it was a one in three chance it would go on the one that I actually cared about buffing. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, all that did not work out great. Oh, please cast it right away. Yes. I mean, this is not the world's strongest play, but seriously, spreading plague. Not the world's strongest play, but it's okay. I'd like to draw a big expensive guy to buff this guy and also to be a big expensive guy now that I have mana. This army is pretty vulnerable to this guy, except now the troll is going to cause a problem. Rukura. That troll gets bigger if I do this, but on the other hand, this is pretty good. I think I probably should. Yeah, trolls are bad news, though. It would have been nice if I could have done that and get the snake out. Funny thing is, I could use this to heal the troll to get his attack down to two and then kill it with the snake. I don't see things unfolding in that way, but it'd be neat. God damn it. Oh wait, no, the troll's not a normal enraged. That would be dumb. Thinking. <laughs> Never mind. Ah, oh, that would have been great before he got so big. Let's let's do this. No, why would you get three hit points? The stealth is only until your next turn, so he's not gonna lurk out there as a big stealth. So it's not there's nothing I can do that'll make him not suck and die. Uh, I should probably just you know, I'm gonna be in trouble though. I really need to get this guy out and working for me. This is this is not going well. That that troll is going to be a problem. I am unlikely to find any good way to get rid of him. Ah, oh, bone mare. Now I'm getting my ass officially kicked. If there is any doubt. So now this guy's barely going to even forestall my doom. Maybe I should have used my Kung Fu and this to kill that, and then I would be taking 2 plus 13, 15 damage and die. Assuming something bad happened to this guy. No, okay. I mean, that's also terrible, but it's not I die immediately terrible. Like, I die slightly later terrible. Never did get the Cobra out in time. Could bite pretty hard. If I had a way to blow this up, then I could, like, actually... Yeti and bite and kill Gruel, but it doesn't matter. I'm screwed. I don't know what I could get out of this. Some kind of miracle. That ain't it. If if it requires a miracle, I can't complain that it doesn't happen. So yeah. And dead. Opponent has 13 damage before Gruel growing, not counting Fire Blast. So I was like, not even close to still alive. Give me a quest. So my opponent got 9-9 nine, nine for 7 from the Bone Mare. With a targeted taunt. 
and four that four of it could attack immediately. Like, it is really good. It is like nine nine for seven with half charge, half taunt. Okay. Well, already we're at sudden death. It's not that big a surprise because we started with a loss, but. Uh, I don't see how much I could have done that game. I, things just. Ah. Uh, things did not work out well. I apparently needed to try and get out that cobra sooner, but I don't know how I would have gotten out the cobra and still controlled the pet population. Like, I'm, it presumably would have died before it could get to that troll. You asked for it. I must protect the wild. Uh, wow. I'm going first, which makes it terrible to be saving expensive things in my hand, even though Druid of the Claw is one of my better cards by far. Saving so, I mean, a Death Speaker is also not great, but I mean, my hand could get worse if I got rid of him. Mages are bad. Bad for me. I hate that the troll last game was big enough to kill an 8 8 just in time for me to get the 8 8. Like, argh. And I do like nothing. Here. Let's, let's just make a deal. We'll just. No, no minions, only hero powers allowed this game. We'll just hero power each other until one of us wins. Deal. 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 Uh, no deal. Play you now, it's kind of sad. I could waste this to kill that guy. On the other hand, that guy is a dick. This is excessive as hell, but I'm going to do it because that guy's a dick. I don't have a lot of good ways in here to kill something like that. If he gets behind taunt or whatever, my opponent could just freeze my hero or my best minion every turn for the entire game. It's worth being two mana behind to have that power. Got the buff on him too. That sucks too. Excellent. Um, I was gonna play this. I'm gonna get its ass kicked. No, let's let's play this anyway. The, the Yeti. It's a tough choice. The Yeti is probably better against this guy, but I don't know. These guys can get rid of the bubble cheaper, whereas. My opponent can do three damage to the Yeti with that bubble. So I wanted to waste the bubble so much, but let's see how bad a move it was. Um, so this just gets killed by the three five. That's not much of an accomplishment. Yeti, deal one damage. You ideally don't want to be doing damage without killing things, because it can easily be wasted by healing or who knows what. I mean, get, I mean, gets bounced. But that 1-1 one, one was not long for this world. I did save my opponent 2 mana by getting rid of it, but th there's a reasonable chance that my Yeti might be able to kill that guy now, whereas previously it would have been a pain. Oh, so now my opponent has a card they can draw that will just give them friggin' seven, or five cards. Including a rare and an epic. Great. Um, is it worth? I mean, he's just gonna get killed by that thing. Oh, whatever. I'm gonna death speaker him anyway. And play the snake. And it'll all work out pretty terribly. My opponent's definitely in control of this situation. Before she draws her pay two, draw five cards. Ooh. Ooh. You could just hit it for two and then fire blast it, but okay. Felt it was worth the frost bolt, which I can understand. Okay, not ideal. You're gonna wear that guy down. Highly illusionist. That might come in handy at some point, but initially, let's go with some... You know what? I don't need his six attack. If this guy can get a bubble... The bubble will go away pretty easily. And he doesn't have taunt built in. No, I'll just do this. So, Yeti is doomed. It's going to cost, like, nothing to kill it, effectively. You can use the 1-1 one -one and Fire Blast, or just the 2-1. 
but hopefully Bach Reaper will take out the 5-3. Again, th th nothing seems good. And this is before my opponent draws 5 guards for 1. Hard to turn her down in the arena. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, something nasty had to be coming, because otherwise the death of all things was about as good as I could hope for. Let's uh, silence that guy. That should save us some damage in the long run. He's still alive, which is not good. If you play this, he just gets shot. I, like, I'm not accomplishing anything here. I don't know. Chances of me buffing a Murloc with him are pretty slim in this deck, so... 5-4 it is. Oh, crap. Uh, it's a two elemental sy synergy plays this game. It's going downhill. Let's see, that guy still had Wind Fury. I'm pretty sure you would have killed my Druid and then Himmy. Alright. What do we get? Plus three hit points? Can't be targets really good against the mage, but I gotta take the plus three hit points. And then. Plus three hit points and poisonous. I, I kind of prefer the plus one, plus one, but under the circumstances, it might work out. I don't know. I think I have a trouble, though. Boar is definitely worth shooting. Maybe that's a piss off if she has some particular nine mana plays you wanted to do, but even then, you know, under the circumstances, probably worth shooting the boar. If you had a big card to kill the dinosaur, that would be unfortunate for me. Okay, what now? Volcano? Meteor? Meteor would be terrible. The guy's in the middle and everything. Blizzard? Also terrible. It's just like, what am I going to do? Silence my guy so we can go again? No, I'm, uh, I'm pretty screwed. That, that would be game over. I don't think Taunt was one of the options, right? Because putting Taunt on that guy would have been good. Speak your peace. Yep, run over. Didn't Doesn't take a whole lot of that elemental synergy to just, like, outvalue everything I played. Here, big fat guy and a kill. Spend a silence just to reduce that guy to a normal, still big and tough thing. Although clearly not worth seven. After the silence. Nope, that sucks. I mean, we knew that wasn't a good deck. I had a lot of bad rows, but that's still. You know, you have the video. You know, let's get those two wins to get your hopes up. Go in here. I've got to friggin' pick the particular pack. I can't use the auto open method because piece of crap locked packs in there. Which really, like, that's fine. It just put the non-locked ones first, obviously, because UI. Oh, Despicable Dreadlord. I think I crafted one of those. I mean, he's cool, but I'm pretty sure I've already got my two. Alright, well, let's go back to the Tavern Brawl. I did go and build a uh, hunter deck for this one. Since one, once you find out that Death Rattles trigger, and given the other tools at their disposal, the secrets, which are tremendously effective against a single minion and Deadly Shot, Hunter Hunter really comes out ahead in this. Uh, Hunter is clearly one of the better choices for this particular Tavern Brawl, where all of your minions get smooshed together at the end of your turn. And lose all powers. Which also means there's no taunt. Uh, Hunter's Mark is actually only good if I have a, a combo with something else. I don't have that many things in here that can do the damage. That would be one of them. In hindsight, should have kept the Hunter's Mark. Ooh. Because, of course, the, this game format lends itself towards each person having one gigantic-ass minion. Or at least one person having a gigantic-ass minion and maybe the other person killing it. Um. Yeah. 
I don't have the Hunter's Mark in my hand, it's not worth holding on to the guy. Although you can just Kung Fu my guy, that would also mean yours isn't growing, so I'm not overly concerned. Now, this would let me play the Secret for free, but I don't really want to play the Misdirection this early, because that's really for later in the game. It severely screw things up for the opponent. Which means I'm not going to get much value out of this person, but whatever, they're still bigger. It is fun playing with statues and stuff like that. I don't have them in here. You get a lot of value. I, I don't. I only have one of them planned. Okay, that's a that's a large amount of hit points to give to your dude. Ooh. Ah, oh, I think I'm supposed to put him on the left side to trigger the bug. Damn it! I just know that previously I put him on the right side and it didn't. Because there's a bug where sometimes when you spawn a minion from the death rattle, it re-triggers the thing that goes through and eats all your minions. Which would have been much better. I'd already f I'd forgotten at one time that I... I've observed it twice now where I put, my, put, that, put a death rattle summoning minion on the right, and it didn't do what I wanted, so... Do I deadly shot that guy? Maybe we'll just copy him. I've got so many duplicates here, I'll, I'll just copy them, it's fine. And now mine is big. So, Druid, do you gotta naturalize? You better have mulch or something, because you're gonna be in trouble. Yeah, okay. You do have the naturalize. That's unfortunate. Chain gang, has a lot of stats for your mana, yeah. Taunt, uselessness format. Uh, I could get this and a secret. Uh, yeah, that's okay. I'm getting my ass beat right now, though. So, do you kill my guy, or do you just keep beating on me? Probably kill my guy. That would be annoying. You got me covered, so it makes the most sense. The misdirectors are okay. It's really about the freezing crap, which... I'm not drawing, apparently. Oh, well, whatever. That thing's big enough to copy and delete. Uh, you know, I've got a misdirect now. This is not in my deck. This, that was just a random... Okay. You know what? I'm just going to end my turn. I've got a misdirect. If you attack with a minion, you'll hit yourself. If you attack me with shapeshift, it doesn't go off. Wait, does it? Okay, but you still have to hit that. Hit your guy. Can you buff your guy and then kill me? That would be unfortunate. I didn't think Mr. Rec triggered off your hero attacking, though. That uh, that changed the math somewhat. Because my plan involved... The way the way I thought... I thought it wouldn't trigger off the hero power, so I assumed I wasn't going to take the damage. Which would have been nice. Because then I would win. Oh, well. Shows how often I play Hunter. I would have just killed the guy instead of relying on the misdirect if I had had one more mana so that I could have done the copy and destroy turn like I wanted to. But, oh well. Another big losing video. Let's we'll have to see if we can get a better deck with way, way less dead rows in the arena next time. Put the hammer down on that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demonac Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.